As you're building, growing, motivating, and leading a team, it is important to be mindful of different motivating factors for each of the individuals, as well as what are some of the expected and welcomed organizational and cultural norms and standards that they expect that you as a leader will deliver on. Trust, honesty, sincerity, providing value, working for your team, not the other way around, getting them the resources they need to be successful, to accomplish those projects and those tasks. At the same time, understanding whether work from home at times is the right answer for some employees. Different hours, maybe not nine to five, perhaps eight to four or seven to three or 10 to six. Or those hours alternate on Mondays and Wednesdays versus Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Or allowing them to maybe not attend certain meetings, providing air cover for them. On the other hand, putting them in front of the right people to gain the experience and notoriety they need to grow and advance in their careers and therefore help your business as a whole, help your team be more successful, more flexible, and more nimble. All of these things can only be accomplished by paying attention, listening, engaging with people, and asking a lot of questions. Different things motivate different people. For some, it's money, salary, bonuses, corner office, title, reporting structure, budget authority, responsibilities. Are they running the things as they are? Or are they really spending and kind of rolling their spending their time and rolling up their sleeves in exploring new areas? for potential growth and innovation for the business as a whole. Be mindful of what motivates your team and see if you can be that force of one or the sources of inspiration and motivation and value that those people need to be successful. Things will change based on the personality, character, and integrity of an individual and where they are in their life and in their careers. Someone at 20, will probably have different motivations at 30, which could differ again at 40, and will definitely be different at 50, and so on. So be mindful of what really matters to your people, because everything we do starts with people. Having the right people, acknowledging them, empowering them, supporting them to be successful. And at sometimes, hopefully not that frequently, perhaps helping them find employment elsewhere if they're not meeting the standards and goals that you have established and that you lead by example for your team and your business. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts below this video on the topic I just covered. What motivates you and what have you noticed motivating your colleagues and your peers and your teams and how has that changed over years? Have a wonderful day.